Me and hubby have a date night, date night. It was actually last minute. We literally just planned it. I'm like, look, let's get out the house. Y'all saw earlier, we uh, went to the car wash, washed the car. Um, got me some Starbucks. I had to go get an oil change because we are going home for Thanksgiving. So I always get an oil change. But this is how I did the date night thing. So I wrote down some things and he pulled a card. So he pulled bowling and cold stone. So we're about to go bowling. It's um, like I said, it's three no four o'clock right now. We're probably gonna leave the house like around six ish, six thirty, six six ish. We're gonna give it about another few hours because I gotta do my hair. And then after that, we're gonna go bowling and go to cold stone. We've never had cold stone, so I'm gonna take y'all with us. Hey y'all, so we bowling. Wait, where's the name? Oh. It's called Strikes. We made it. We're 20 minutes late because I wanted to be here at 7 30, but we was late because of him, per usual. Per usual. But that's okay. Looking cute. I, got, I didn't get a chance to do my makeup, but that's okay. We're finna drink and bowl. He finna lose. Oh, look. This is cute. I got a little bowl and I smell pizza. I'll get some wings. Where do we pay for the ticket? Then? Oh, they got the lights off. Okay, cool. You look cute. I don't know why you why you can say I won one. I won two games. It was best two out of three, and I definitely won two. But we would never 
come back to this location ever again. Probably this company, whatever. This is a very bad first impression. That customer service is horrible. Horrible. I do not see how they got five stars. I mean, 4.5 stars. Um. So first thing, he tried to, where he tried to sit us, it was kids on both sides. Baby, I'm trying to enjoy myself. I'm not gonna sit around these kids. They need an adult night only. It's late. Why are these kids out anyway? So I was like, okay, can you sit us on the other side where it was like an extra five dollars because it was darker? He was like, okay, cool. So he didn't charge us for the extra five dollars, which was nice. We go over there. It's a family with some badass kids. Banging and opening all the silverware, banging on the table, messing with the balls, in the way, all that. And of course they're not saying that to their kids. So whatever. We bowling. Our waiter, what do you do? He wasn't as attentive to us as he was to other people. And I don't know if it's because we was people of color. I don't know what it was, but he didn't come over and check on us not one time. So I ordered the food on the little kiosk and he came over there because it was some issues going on with the screen. And I was like, well, do we have to go get our own food? He was like, oh no, you're supposed to order with me. How are we gonna do that if you didn't come and check on us? Like you ain't came and asked us if we okay. Do we want to order anything? Sir, bye. So asked him for some silverware. The food finally came. Well, we asked him to cancel it. Because the, our game was almost over. We were like 20 minutes away from the game being over. And we still went on our food. So, we like, he can't see like, oh, I can't cancel it because it's about to come out. Okay, whatever. Bring the freaking food. Brought the food. Okay, can we get some silverware? We don't want to eat with our hands. We've been bowling. He never brought the silverware, but he came back and checked on the family with the kids. But you never brought the silverware. Came back and checked on the other people next to us, but never brought the silverware. That's okay. So, I went and washed my hands. Came back. Still ain't brought no silverware. People finally leave, he bring the check. Oh, but you can bring the check, though. You bring the check, though. But you can't bring us no silverware. So it's okay. Strike 15. Gave him the money. I had a little $2 change left over. I said, I, I wasn't going to get him no tip, but to avoid from having to wait on him again, he keep $2. He kept $2, assuming that I was going to let him keep $2. Like, it's different if I said, oh, keep the change. He came and grabbed the checkbook. I ain't say thank you, nothing. Just took it and walked away. I ain't never come back, but he went over there and checked on everybody else. I said, okay. So we leaving, looking for a manager. The guy that sat us was a manager, but he was busy. So we went and found another one. At the food counter, he like, okay, I'll be right with you. Charge us back on us five minutes go by and never turn around and see what we want. I said, you know what, baby, let's just go. We just won't come back again. So do not come to strikes if you live in Frisco, Texas. Do not come to strikes because they are trash and their customer service is horrible bowling was fun but their customer service sucks their food was not good yeah we won't be back we should have went to main event but that's okay we're about to go get some ice cream, we about to get some ice cream. Yeah. what you doing yeah, <laughs> right now for you <laughs> you leaving a comment oh you, you contacting oh well it is. You remember the guy, the guy name they helped us. Um, okay. Stop it, that's your Robbie. That's it. That's it. That's it. Cherry cheesecake. Oh, uh, I did not properly close out the vlog, so I'm back looking crazy again. Y'all probably be like, dang, every time she come on here, she got a different hairstyle. <laughs> That's me. Um, I came out here to properly close out the vlog. I am just now leaving at my house. It is 5.40 p.m. Sunday. I need to go pick up some stuff for Sunday dinner. Chris is cooking Sunday dinner today. So <laughs> I uh, had to type my paper. So that's why I'm just now finishing um, and leaving at the house. So about to go pick up some stuff. About to go drop some stuff off at Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog here. So... I may throw a little montage, ma, is it called a montage? Like a little clip of what I'm doing at the end. And then I'm gonna close it from there. So thank y'all for tuning in with me this week. And I will see y'all next time.